Hi, my name is John Griesbach. I'm with Diamond H2O. Today we're going to be talking about the importance of soft water and how monitoring your hard water can help save you money. First off, what is hardness? Hardness is the combination of calcium and magnesium hardness. Calcium and magnesium are dissolved in the ground uh, as rain falls down and water goes through the ground. It picks up the minerals of calcium and magnesium. Calcium and magnesium becomes dissolved in water and it be starts to become a problem as it combines with other chemicals. Uh, for one example would be as calcium combines with carbonate, uh, which is naturally dissolved in from the atmosphere, it creates calcium carbonate. And magnesium will tend to combine with hydroxide, causing magnesium hydroxide. Both of these will form scale and uh, form deposits in places that they are allowed to dry. So uh, I've got uh, some extreme examples here in the pipes uh, of hardness buildup that can happen. Um, now this is internally in the plumbing, but it can also happen uh, externally as well. So it makes sense that if you have hard water, that you'd want to remove it uh, by a water softener. This is important uh, for applications like in a car wash. If you have hard water coming out of your, uh, out of your spigots, you will have a, a lot of spotty, crusty residue to deal with on, a, on the product once it's dry. Uh, also, in a home, your chemical usage goes up significantly, not to mention all the uh, elbow grease that you're required to use in the cleaning process uh, as the residue builds up. And then you have your boiler applications or water heaters where you're heating water and you're bringing the calcium and magnesium hardness out of solution and forming scale and really reducing your efficiency of your system overall and usually requiring significant blowdowns and uh, downtime for cleaning. The other problems that hard water will present in a system as if it's pre-treatment for systems like reverse osmosis membranes. Uh, if you have a softener in place and it is not doing the job, you will have premature failure of those membranes and it will happen relatively quick. So it is ultra critical that the system that is in place not only be set up properly but be working properly. So you have equipment, why test? It's important to test because most equipment that is applied is not applied properly due to the fact that no tests were taken before its application. And upon application, typically the equipment is not tested uh, and set up properly. This is why so many people that have a softener in place to remove hardness, these places still struggle to eliminate the hard water expenses. Expenses may include soaps or chemicals due to the fact that uh, the hardness ties up a lot of the active ingredients in these soaps and chemicals, requiring you to use more soap or chemical and it being far less effective than if you did not have your, your soft or than if you had soft water. Other places are in boiler systems. The increased usage of chemical or the increased need for chemical when hardness is jumping all over the board or inconsistent. Uh, in homes, your chemical and ultimately your labor costs and replacement costs of equipment and ultimately the downtime for repair. The biggest expense that's going to come from the hardness now, or the water softener not working and excessive hardness is the repair of other components. And you're going to see that in a very short time when uh, repairing uh, things like reverse osmosis systems. In testing, you may also find that you are using excessive amount of salt. Uh, if the system is not set up properly and left at factory default, it may not be that you're running into hard water, but that your system is using two to three times as much salt and water as is necessary to achieve the same quality of water. Where to start? 
First note, if you are in city or well water, this will be important uh, for further uh, purposes and evaluation as we speak on the phone or via email. Once you determine if it's city or well, find where your main water comes in. There usually is a sample port there. Draw a raw water sample and test. That test is going to be how you're going to set your system up. So test there, take a look at those results. But now if you have a piece of equipment already in place, it's going to be also important for us to know how it has been doing or what it's doing now. So it will be important for you to go to a known soft water line and pull a test. Pull a test so we can compare the results of that test to your raw water. And to take it one step further, if you have a hot water line, pull a sample there and test it as well. This will allow us to compare not only what's coming out of the water softener now, but due to the fact that most water heaters are a larger tank, we're going to get a slight cross-section of what's been going on with the system, maybe for the last couple hours, last couple days, but it will give us a, 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 slighter, larger, a slightly larger picture of what has been going on. Once we have those results, we can then turn to the water softener and take a look at programming to make sure that it is truly set up properly. So what monitoring your water is all about is not only setting up the, the system and knowing the water hardness, it's the ability to know the product that you're going to, going to have consistently. So that way you can set up other applications, your chemicals, your boilers, and you can have a, a consistent program. This will help you to do a few things. Mainly, reduce chemical costs. Also, by knowing the quality of this, the water coming in, setting your system to be at peak efficiency will help the system itself last longer. And in the process, you will get the most bang for your buck regarding the salt used. We at Diamond are here to help, and we look forward to talking to you about any of your applications. So as you're testing water and as questions arise, feel free to email or call us. At Diamond HUO, our phone number is 920-757-5440, and our email is info at diamondh2o.com. Again, it's info at diamondh2o.com.